Well, this is a bit of a slimmed down visit from the usual longer royal visit. They'll visit two cities in five days, Sydney and Canberra, from October 18 to 23rd. Some of the highlights will be a fleet review of the Royal Australian Navy on Sydney Harbour, along with a community barbecue. They'll also meet with the two current Australians of the year, Professors Georgina Long and Richard Scolia, as well as some uh, Indigenous community leaders in Sydney as well. In Canberra, there'll be a formal reception at Parliament House for politicians politicians and some community leaders too. That will probably be the, the main event, I suppose, the showcase or perhaps that fleet review in Sydney Harbour might compete with it. But those two events will be, I suppose, the two big things of this royal visit, uh, as well as visits to the National Botanic Gardens here in Canberra uh, to talk about the impacts of climate change and a visit to the War Memorial and CSIRO as well. There was some uncertainty about this visit, Michael, because of the King's health condition at present, uh, but it is now going ahead that has been confirmed, so uh, something to look out for in about six weeks' time. Uh, will you go and try to get a glimpse of the King and Queen, or you, do you not care at all? My, my, I was going to say guess, but my informed opinion is a lot of young people out there don't care, honestly, these days, mm, uh, whereas lots of older Australians uh, uh, probably do have residual affection for the monarchy and the royal family would have seen the Queen on previous visits, and maybe will try to go to one of the events in Sydney and Canberra. What, what do you think? Yeah. Possibly. Maybe if William and Kate were here, there'd be a bit more interest. So when they were here in um, both Camilla and Charles, when he was still Prince, of course, it was back in 2012. Um, I had to cover it for the ABC, one of their visits. So it was to a winery and then to a function at um, Government House. It was right. a very nice day. Oh.